What is up, guys? How's it going? You see the name right there. My name's Jackal, and we're here back for more Pokemon Red of the Nuzlocke variety. And we're exactly 12 hours on the dot into this. That's why everything's so different. When I beat Erica, I never saved my game. That's why Bologna didn't have Body Slam. All makes sense. All makes sense once again. Okay. All right. Well, now I get why that... Okay. Now I get why the last episode confused me for a quick second. Okay. So last time we got the lift key... And now we're going to see if there's anything else we can do or we're just going to start taking elevators and busting asses. I already busted his. But yeah, make sure if you guys want to watch somebody forget to save their game from time to time, make sure you subscribe. Because that is how we do. We love forgetting to save around here. We got word from the upstairs that you were coming. Bro, my character is like, 13 tops. Teddy 2! Teddy 2! The fact that Razor Wind is normal is mind boggling to me. Boggling of the mind. At least that doesn't really affect me. Brain melt. But it's fine. Razor Wind is still better than fucking Tackle. See ya, ribcage. It's nice. I'm getting to record a second video today. Recording the second video pretty early. Which means my Pokemon are all now over leveled. Um, do I? Oh, my other phone is here. I forget. Let us do a little Poke search. Pokemon Double Edge. Okay, just something that does recoil damage. Um, no. I'm not a huge fan of recoil damage. I'm sure there's situations where one might need it. But I think I'm good. No, 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 no. So I started uh, at work, I started watching through uh, videos of debates and discussions of one of my favorite authors of all time, which is Christopher Hitchens. And man, do I fucking miss that loudmouth atheist. I miss him so much. Dude was super, super, super influential on my like senior year of high school development I remember reading God is not great how religion poisons everything for the first time at the end of my senior year of high school so like 2009 and I had already had a lot of you know I had a lot of misgivings about religion Growing up. Boo, boo. No. Do you say, how can you not see the beauty of our evil? I love their unadulterated evilness. <laughs> And yeah, the next gym is basically just going to be fucking 
it's going to be Spoonbender side-beaming everybody. <coughs> but, you know, I am, I am pretty, uh, we'll say, for lack of a better word, I'm pretty uh, woke, I guess. And, you know, a big thing about me having a lot of the mindset that I have about pretty much any and everything, some way, shape, or form, comes back from me being an atheist. You know, I... God, I've told, I, I know at various videos throughout my channel I've said this, but you know, the chances of somebody seeing, most times anybody sees a video of mine, it's generally going to be a part of a playthrough that they like. They're not going to be watching, you know, all my videos from all the different things I've recorded. That's generally not going to happen. Nice. So, when I was about... 13, yeah, because it was fall of 7th grade. I still remember this. I had a, like, distant relative who was, like, one of the few people in that side of the family that, like, I truly, like, had a lot of memories of. Because, you know, I've always grown up in the Chicagoland area. And, you know, half of my family's Mexican. The other family is all white people from Nebraska. Well, Omaha, so that means some on the Nebraska side, some on the Iowa side. You know, it's it's like, it's one of those cities that's, you know, right on the border of two states. So you, you know how it is. But, you know, same thing. They live in the Omaha, um, the Omaha land area, I guess is what you would call that. And, yeah, you can fuck off with that poison sting. And... I don't see that family a lot because, you know, that's an eight, eight to 10 hour drive. And it is a really, exp even though it's not that far, because, you know, the airport either, I don't know if the airport would either be on the Iowa side or the Nebraska side, but whichever is the local airport, flying into there is not cheap because, you know, it's not a, it is not an airport that gets used very often. So it's not very, uh, it's not very price efficient. What are you again? We can toss counter. I'm it's probably a good move, but it's just not one I'm gonna use. Iron, please say iron is for defense. Please, please. There we go. Also get this man a super poche. You know what? Let's just full heal. Let's just full heal the team. Let's just full heal the team. I don't I wouldn't feel good if we didn't. Taddy 2, you don't need to have your HP increased. You're not fighting anyone. No one over here is going to have a Zubat for you to fight against. And we got Vanni. Giovanni. All right. Yeah, he's impressed with us. And then with Spoonbender, I'll be able to take out all of... I'll be able to take out all of Erica's gym. Okay, you are not who I wanted to bring out. I don't know what guard spec does, but I know it's not going to protect you from that. But I had a, a cousin, distant cousin who lived out in Nebraska. And around the time that I was 13, she was stabbed to death by her longtime boyfriend, husband, whatever the fuck he actually was. I don't know. And now, to this day, I do not know 
I don't know how true this is. But, oh Lord have mercy. But, um, I don't know how true the story is, but according to what I had heard back then, nope, Oisey Doisey ain't evolving yet, he's got three more levels. Don't worry, little champion, you're good. Sylph scope, now we can see ghosties. Is there anything on the second floor? I've never actually checked. Oh yeah, no, it's just this floor. Nope. But I had heard that after she was killed, her then like five-year-old, four-year-old child, somewhere around that age, uh, apparently, allegedly, legendarily, walked in and saw the dead body of her mother. Now again, don't know if this actually happened. And, you know, it very well could have not happened. But at this, you know, for the effect it had on me at 13, whether or not it actually happened, honestly is not really that important. The effect it had on me was real. Cool. Because I used the wrong move. When I was 13, I was still like, you know, 13 year old religious. Like, I wouldn't say that I was like devout, but like, I believed in God. I believed in all the things I was grown up to, to believe. I did have a, a mind where I'll say I was definitely probably more skeptical than the average child, but I, I believed. Um... One of the, I'll go over that in a second. Um, but with everything that had happened with my cousin getting killed, I did not understand that like, cause I knew the idea of a divine plan and, you know, God's will. And I did not understand that if God could literally control everything, control the entire path that the world would take. Is there not a way that he could have whatever, whatever in my head at 13, whatever lesson he was trying to instill in this five-year-old girl seeing her mother killed in front of her. If God is God, is he not able to teach her and give her the same information that she has right there just without the part where, you know, she actually sees her mother dead. You know, if God is who he says he is, shouldn't he be able to do this? And at 13 years old, it was just mind-breaking. And I, I couldn't understand how God's plan required that out the gate. Yeah, we're not doing this fucking... Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 I forgot. When I saved was actually after that fucking stupid 10-minute bell sprout battle. Yeah, I remember that. Still hate you. I have not forgiven you for that whole thing. I'm still very upset about all of it. But when I was about 13, so... You know, my birthday is in two days, so it's been almost 20 years since this happened. And, you know, it basically started me on this long road of just starting to really question a lot of the things that I was told. Yeah, I don't want cover. And one more bell sprout. 
but you know that led me and you know the the story that I was going to kind of go over is that you know with getting back into Christopher Hitchens and listening to him as my favorite you know one of my favorite authors um I had uh he tells a story about you know being a small child in you know religious education school you know, back in like the 50s or whatever, whenever he was growing up and was talking about how, you know, some kid asking in like a nature class why the grass was green and that her answer was just like, oh, because that's the color God made most pleasing to our eyes. And he talked about the fact that, you know, he didn't understand anything about the plant life cycle or photosynthesis or how light works when it's you know get uh when the colors are bouncing off of things he didn't understand any of that but he knew that she was wrong and i had a moment like that and i was actually a little bit younger i was maybe nine or ten i don't know i want to say nine but i could be glazing a little bit myself and it is also very likely that it could be ten and i was a little older you know what? We'll just say 10. And, you know, at the time I'm, I'm going to uh, religious school on the side in, you know, my whatever Catholic school. I think it was. Uh... Yeah, you know what? It's like it's I don't even live in that town anymore. It was called St. Peter Damien. It was the, the Catholic, the big Catholic church in the town that I grew up in. There were a couple, but like that was the one like that was the one that you would see. I would see a lot of kids from school and shit in. So, um, I remember, you know, I'm in religious education at the time and it was never talked about, but, you know, I asked legit one of the most stereotypical questions that a 10 year old would have asked in religious studies or like from the information of religious studies when we're going over, you know, Genesis and things like that. I asked, you know, cause I grew up with my grandparents. I asked my, uh, my grandmother, I was like, how come there's no dinosaurs in the Bible? Like legit the most mean question because like that, that's like the first joke question. Oh, well, well, why are dinosaurs in the Bible? But like that was at 10 years old, a genuine question that I had because, you know, we're talking about Genesis in my religious class, you know, on, what was it like Tuesday or Thursday nights or some shit like that. But then in actual school, we're not going over like fossils necessarily, but we're talking about like dinosaurs and the ages of the earth and the time periods and blah, 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 blah. And you know, the, I clearly connected the two together. And, you know, same as with, you know, my fucking idol, same as with Hitchens. I did, I didn't understand fossilization. I didn't understand how earthquakes or tectonic plates or how all the, the sedimentary layers actually worked. I didn't understand anything about the actual nature of reality regarding this subject and to be fair to my grandmother i also don't believe that the statement she gave me i don't believe that she believed it for a fucking second i don't believe it i know my grandmother you know me and her have talked about things you know to this day you know pretty deep i know she doesn't believe this but you know my i was 10 my grandmother wanted to, she did try to instill within me a religious background. She really did. And she said, well, some people have said that God put the fossils down there to test our faith. To see if we would believe him or believe the fossils. And that that did not satisfy me that seemed like bullshit i didn't know why i didn't know how 
I didn't know for what reasons, but what I knew is that that was horseshit. And I couldn't exactly figure out how or why, but I knew it was. And I won't say that was what, like, because I wouldn't say, like, I know the event of my cousin dying is the one that really got me to start questioning things. But that was probably, that was, if anything, the first time where I did for real just, like, kind of look at something and be like, huh, that's weird. But that was about as far as that went at that age. You know, the events when I was 13 was much more, you know, because, you know, my cousin Tina was, like, my favorite family member that I had on my, like, extended family. She was my favorite. Obviously because she let me play her Game Boy when I was, like, three. So I just always had good memories of her. But, you know, I couldn't understand how this was a part of God's plan. It just did not it it didn't work for me i couldn't do it all right yeah she dozed off let's go let's go let's go beat this ass very well but i shall not lose oh you gonna lose don't even pretend like you're about to win this i managed to get spoon vendor You're not technically a plant Pokemon, I don't think. I think you're a bit different how I got a... That's fine. Just eat him. Damn, Tangela's actually got some pretty high fucking defense. What the fuck is this? Okay, you can stop with the uh, getting my speed down. You are a whore. Get belong out. <clears throat> but yeah, no, that started me on the route that I'm on, and it honestly just never stopped going. You know, I had always had all these promises. Oh, you know, when you have kids, you'll see. It'll change. I felt nothing religiously when I had my daughter. I felt something, but it wasn't what I was told I was going to feel. Really? 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 But it's weird, like, especially with all of the rising, like, backlash to a lot of, like, LGBT shit, I really feel like right now is the perfect time for, like, the country to get more Christopher Hitchens going on here. Because, man, the religiosity, like, kind of coming back in this country, the more religious mindset... That shit needs to go. I am already sick of it. Oh, good, because I didn't know what was going on there for a second. Hey, the good one is a 31. 
Now we re-got that. That rainbow badge. Now we are all good. Now everything makes sense again. I should make room for this. Oh yeah, she has some fucking thing that I'm going to not want. Toss the Pokeball. Giga Drain, Mega Drain. Can anybody else learn that one other than Little Sprout over here? Because he's not going to fucking ever. Okay, the good one can use it. Okay. We're going to do Sleep Powder because a lot of times it seems like every time I try to use Sleep Powder, it just doesn't affect him. We'll go with Mega Drain. I, I accept this. I accept this. But it's just, you know, the religious mindset was one that in this country kind of seemed like it was going away a little bit. But, you know, as soon as Trump started fucking holding up a Bible and shit everywhere, things started to get, honestly, a little different. And, you know, I don't mean to do the whole, like, uh, Trump bad thing, but once he started literally holding the Bible and, like, rapping and hugging the American flag in the most gross way things started getting worse as far as you know the religious mindset of people in this country and it's definitely had a resurgence that i have not been happy about because i mean now you have politicians like marjorie taylor green up there looking like the fucking smiling titan talking about that we need to make this country into a Christian nationalist country. Bro, not in your fucking dreams. These people are constantly wanting to sit here and be like, ah, yes, we're the party of small government. We're the party that wants the government out of your lives. But yet, they will immediately tell you what you can and can't do. <coughs> like, they say they hate, like, oh man, we can't, we can't do a lot of this trans stuff. We can't have kids, you know, mutilating their genitals. And then you turn around and look at these same people and you're like, don't you circumcise your son? Didn't you circumcise your son? And they're like, oh, well, that's different. And you have to look at them and be like, not only is it no, it's not, at very least, now, in America, this is not happening, but if you imagine a 15-year-old wanting to have their genitalia removed or added on, whatever is the bits and bobs that you're trying to go with, that is out of the question for them. But an unelective or a, a, a not, a, um, what's the thing? A completely elective surgery that you're performing on an infant child the moment after they're dead. And again, like the, uh, the old religious texts will say, uh, the only reason for the practice of circumcision originally in the Jewish tradition was in order to make the male member less sensitive because now the head isn't doesn't have the foreskin over it it's sticking out at all times which means it scrapes up against your pants and this and that it dulls the sexual pleasure of a man men who have not been circumcised get more sexual pleasure just because like you're exposing a part of your body that's generally not supposed to be exposed so, yeah, it's not as sensitive anymore. And it's like, what world do, what other reason other than somebody saying like, yeah, but the Bible, what else could give somebody the idea that like, listen, I know this kid says and has been saying for like their entire life that they feel like they're a girl, but they were born a boy. 
I can't let them take a knife to their genitals. But my son's about to be born in two days. And you know what? We just gotta cut that foreskin. Fuck these people. Fuck them. Why are we listening to these people? Why are we listening to, like, schools of virgins? You know, the fucking, these priests. Why are we letting these virgins dictate what we do sexually in our lives? Why is this being told to us by this group of people? This is absolutely ridiculous. And I guarantee I'm talking like Hitchens a little bit now because I've been listening to him today. But it just, it highlights my frustration at, you know, I can agree from time to time that, you know, lefties online especially tend to get a little ahead of themselves and they get a little too big for their britches sometimes. They get real uppity about certain things and they're trying to cancel people and that. I get it. But when we're talking about the other side of the political aisle is like using religion to justify basically everything that they do from their stance on LGBT issues to their now, especially now with what's going on with like the rises of Andrew Tate, you know, gender roles again is making really big headway. A lot of it due to the nature of the, the topic of trans people coming up. That has definitely been a thing, but I don't know, man. I'm just sick of like the religious mindset, especially here in America. I'm just, I'm, I'm really sick of it. I don't know. That's it for the day. Maybe next time I, maybe tomorrow if I rant about religion, it'll be a little more cohesive about why I don't like it, but man, does it piss me off, but Oh, well, we beat Team Rocket, we re-beat Erica, and now we're all good in the neighborhood. Now we can go do the... Well, actually, we should uh, search around here because I know whoever gives me the, the... The bike voucher, that's what I need. Should be in here somewhere. I could have sworn they were here. I don't know. I'll find out. We'll see. Till next time, guys. Peace.